Yeah, it's working. Hey, two big people hauling Mad Mud Duck back to you again and had to go check out what the hell the text was sent to me and had to send some more. And I am asking my ex to run off on me. The woman that was my supposed soulmate that just We'd been through a lot together. I'd saved her life. She'd saved my life a couple times. Uh, we got this thing between us that she calls a bond. It's like she knows when I'm not feeling good. That sort of thing. It's just... It's this psychic fucking link thing. And uh, I am asking her relationship advice on how to deal with Blondie. So I'm asking one crazy blonde how to deal with another crazy blonde. My sister-in-law can't believe that I'm doing that. That damn truck. I don't write. And, uh, my reply was, well, you see what happens when I'm left alone in the woods for too long. I do stupid shit. So... I need to be taken out and slapped. First of all, because I know better than contacting she who shall remain nameless. And my life might work. Some bitch up here for now. Yeah, trying to get some light in here. It's only three o'clock and it's like dark up here in the woods already. So I'm hoping that's fucking clouds over there or that mountain got fucking bigger overnight. Yeah, I'm looking at reindeer through the trees because I have Mountain View property. Wind's coming from north. It'll a little trickle, so that doesn't mean I'm going to be burning tonight. That means uh, I don't want smoke drifting that way. So, I got to pull that back out, damn it. So I'm sitting here waiting to hear back from Blondie because I left her a message to get a hold of me up there at the Fairfax Mental Center. It's been 14 days. She's uh, supposed to stay in there. Ten days, I know she was clean of the mouth, maybe. But her dad says she's still batshit crazy, screams at the uh, attendants of the nurses, the male nurses, about their trying to rape her. But I know where she's at. And if I thought about it, I could probably throw some gas in the truck and go all the way up there, but I don't want to go up to fucking Kirkland. I remember what uh, traffic was like when I was a courier, and I know that's a long fucking way, and I don't trust my left rear tire right yet. It's my bald spare, okay? She's a little thin in the middle. Somebody ran it over and played it for a couple of years. So, shit's rattling around in here. I'm gonna kill that fucker. I hate this fucking stereo system. Every time the battery goes dead, it starts. It's got this warning. 
second, I gotta go over and turn the warning off and turn the CD memory off. And I guess it was convenient when it was new, but it's a pain in the ass now. So I asked, I'm asking my ex. Relationship advice. I'm... Must be hitting a new fucking low or something. Well, hooking up with uh, meth whore was a new fucking low for me. But, you know... I still see someone in there that's savable. She'd get off the drugs for a little bit and get off the damn, uh, half of her fucking problem, I think, is, uh, one of her family members. And old woman, if you're out there watching this, remember, hit the like button. Leave a comment. Hell, leave a rude comment. I'm not picky. I reply to most comments I get once uh, I find out that I get them. This is kind of like my therapy where I go into, what do you call that, psycho babbling? It's just I, I vent here, right? <clears throat> Hell, really ain't got anybody else to talk to without the dog and Blondie being gone and she's had my fucking problem right now. Okay, three quarters of my problem. Fuck, I don't know. Looking around to see what I can blow up for New Year's. And I'm thinking, Weird Frank puts that fucking ladder out to where I gotta fucking stop and get out. Cross my driveway again, I just might blow Weird Frank up. Some bitch. What do they think this is? I can't stop this fucker once I hit a certain section of the hill. It just slides. And it ain't even the rainy season yet. <sighs> Hell, you know, I don't know what to think right now. Really don't. I'm asking one blonde that fucked up my head about how to deal with another blonde that's fucking up with my head but you know why does ask one crazy woman how to deal with another it's insane hell I might even be insane This is not how I expected life to go. There was supposed to be more to life than this. Take this fucker off. There. I was supposed to have more going on than this. This is not uh, what I signed up for. But goddammit, the skinny blonde. Likes to row the boat when we go fishing, so. That's a keeper, I mean, beats her own hook, too. Buys the beer and sandwiches. How can I not? Yeah. I'm just.
just sitting here banging my head on the fucking window trying to figure out what the fuck did I do to myself this time? Because nobody screws me over better than I screw myself over. And I know it ain't thinking with my pecker, I'm thinking with this head, so that could be the problem. But damn it. You got this little skinny blonde, tiny titted skinny blonde with an ass so nice that she makes my dick hard to watch her walk down the hill. And that's with her clothes on because I've watched her walk down the hill completely naked before. Uh, I'm rambling. Fourteen days without the woman and I'm rambling like a fucking idiot again. I am trying to wrap my head around all this and make it work out and I'm thinking, you know what? Sometimes I'm thinking maybe it is better to be alone. Uh-oh. Somebody's getting back to me for something. 